everyone, welcome to this next tutorial in our series of how to think in Unity language. We've been playing it pretty safe, so I think we're ready to do something crazy. We're gonna learn how to create a new scene, how to change levels, and then how to save game state. This is really important for you to learn how to use because you're going to be changing levels all the time and maybe you want to save your score, save your player's form, your player's health, whatever. So what we're gonna do here first is make a couple prefabs. We're going to create a folder called prefabs. A prefab is basically a just a unit uh, uh, that you will save and you can use it anytime you want. So I'm going to save the main camera, I'll save my player and my level manager. So when we create a new scene, new scene, save this. And we went, when we create a new scene, we just have to delete this main camera and add everything else here. We have to change our main camera to have a skybox because I'm not doing a, a background yet. You can do that in your own um, time. And then we're going to make a couple ground and little docks for a player to stand on. Box collider to the docks, change the layer to ground, and then duplicate it a couple times with Control D. And then you have to. I'm gonna create a folder, which is an empty game object called Docs, and I'm gonna just organize this in there. That's much better. And then in our level manager, we have to set the text that we have in our canvas as a variable, as a public variable, and then hit play. When we hit play, we can see the level is just empty. It's fine. Doesn't have any points. And so we're going to go back to our first scene, so we can change to this scene save this scene as number two and um, now we have to make a door so we have a graphic called door in the description of the video just do the same as always just multiple sprite we go to sprite editor we have to slice it apply no filter true color apply we're fine now. Now we have our doors. We can choose anything. I'm going to choose this open one. Because, you know, how can you enter a closed door? And I'm going to add a little box collider to the trigger to our door. And now it doesn't have any function yet. So I'm just going to make a script. And this script is going to be called, you know, door. I'm going to attach it to our door. You know, open it. So what do I need in this script? What I need in this script is to identify the next level and to travel to it. So what do I need to do that? Why well, first I need to detect when the player comes inside the door. We're gonna do that with void on trigger enter 2D. And we're gonna pass on a collider 2D. I'm gonna name it collider. So if collider if it's tag we're gonna compare the tag with tags player which we know it is. So what we're gonna do is application that load level. So the application function has a lot of things we can use. But for now we're just gonna learn how to load the level. We need the index of this level. How do we get the index? We have to go to file, build settings, and then we have to add our scenes in this area. One and two, and the int is this is this one, it's zero and one. So now that we have that we're gonna we could do this just hit one for it but what I'm gonna do is actually teach you how to do a serialized field that means you don't need to make a, a variable public for it to be visible in the inspector you just type this in you just do serialize serialize field now it's visible in the inspector, but it's it's not public, so it's more protected, it's better, it's more efficient. So level, we go here, and we will see it here in a second. There you go, hit one here, and then we play. So when you get some points, I'm gonna have to change to the fishman so you can see this. When I change the level, I'm gonna reset my character and my points. See? That's not what I want because I want my character to be saved in whatever form I was and then the points will be the same too. I, I want to accumulate points. So for that, we will have to do a couple of things here. First, we have to make all uh, the variables we want saved public. 
so any script can see them. I'm going to make the character select public and our points are already public. So in the door, if we collide with the door, we're going to set player prefs dot we could player prefs is a function that saves uh, your files, your little changes to a file inside your a device of choice. If, if we do set float, it's a float, int and string, this is set, this means save. And get is just load. So I'm gonna set int. You have to name the int first. I wanna name it character select selection. And the int, we have to find it. It's in our player script. So we have to call our player here. Player player as always. Void start player equals find object of type player. And once we find him, we can actually do player dot character select. It's already there, ACPC. So now we have this. I'm going to do another player prefs because I already saved the state of the character. Now I want to save my player points. It's just going to be player dot point. It's simple enough. Now we have this. I'm going to start the game again. and it doesn't do anything. But why doesn't it do nothing? Because we haven't loaded them into our player. We have to go to the player script and then start. In the start method, I'm gonna teach you something new. We're gonna say that if application that loaded level name, if the name is two, which is the name we gave the scene, then we will load the things. We're gonna say that our points are equal to player prefs that get int. What's what was the name of it again? It was player points. And then for our character select, we're gonna say that player prefs dot get int. It's gonna be character selection. So if our level is level two, we will load this. Let's check it out. Now we hit play again, it's loading, we hit play. We get three points, change to Fishman, and now we're gonna teleport, and I'm still Fishman, and I still have three points. So that's it for now, thanks for watching. The next video is gonna be about menus, I'm gonna teach you a couple menu things, and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to that it show you how to mute your game, how to give it music, I'm gonna show you a couple things. Thanks for watching.